Um, I'm Doug Bruce. I own Tabor Bruce Architects. My parents own the Betty Jean Shop. It was it was in sad. It, there was a sad sad state of affairs for the for the square then. Uh, I was obviously younger, not a, not an architect then. I was uh, my middle school and high school days. But you only went downtown on Friday or Saturday nights to, to drive your car around. You, you know, more shuttered storefronts and, and dirty storefronts where you could write your finger in dust, uh, you know, wash me on the window uh, because it was so empty. Yeah. There wasn't as much competition and the store had such a reputation. But um, it was still a struggle because there were so many other empty storefronts. But there was plenty of parking. Yeah, I bet there was. I don't think it was as much the Grand Plaza because while that was a building that needed a lot of work and, and certainly uh, would have been sad to see it demolition by neglect, I think it was that at one point people were discussing about tearing the courthouse down and when they were going to tear the courthouse down to put a parking garage up because by gosh we needed more parking downtown. I think it brought together a bunch of people in Bloomington who realized that there was an enthusiasm for our downtown because people got together to fight tearing the courthouse down. CFC did Grand Plaza, and then CFC did the Fountain Square Mall, which came later. But I think that enthusiasm that came out of saving the courthouse is a big part of where people then started putting money downtown. It gave us a set of guidelines that we could uh, not only look at examples of where they succeeded, but it gave us a, a, a kind of, a, it laid out a flow chart on what we could do to uh, get from point A to point B. And, and you know, DBI came out of that. Um, you know, as I mentioned to you earlier, um, you know, my dad was uh, one of the first members of that group and, and, and uh, uh, Mr. Huddleston, who had a uh, line of office supply at that time, and their first, one of their first tasks was that they hired a director. Uh, again, following Main Street, and that director was Felicia Kopik, and she's still that director. But it really shows um, the stability that we've had, and that has been another key part because we've had the stability that a lot of other Main Street organizations have not had, and, and that's been the strength of DBI. Main Street gave us the guidelines to figure out uh, what we were, what we weren't, what we wanted to be. Main Street gave us a way to find consensus in some form to develop a plan and then that plan became something that we could check and then we finally looked at it and said okay let's open the plan up again it's like a, it was like a time capsule you know um, what did the plan want what did the plan say um, we, we weren't going to hit all of it but we we hit enough that we saved our downtown from complete despair yeah.